It's a chilly day here on January 12th, 2020, and I thought I'd take this opportunity, since it's kind of cold, to show you how to properly heat up your Model 3 battery. Because it seems like a lot of people have opinions about how to do this, and so far no one has gotten it, so I, that's why I thought I'd make this video. So what I have is my Model 3, it's been sitting for a couple of days, so the battery is cold, and I am going to disconnect the charger not the charger, but the cable. I'm just going to set it on the ground here. Don't ever do that. Don't don't ever <laughs> leave that on the ground for safety and uh, you don't want to run over it. But I'm just going to do it for the sake of time here. Then I'm going to get in my car. I'm going to do a couple of things. The reason why I had to disconnect the cable is because... I need to be able to see where my battery heat is right now. And the best way to do that on a Model 3 without any sort of fancy equipment is to get ready to drive the car. So I'm going to get into my position here. Now I'm going to grab my cell phone video and we're going to look at the display. What you're going to see over here on the left hand side, these little dots on the display. That is an indication of a cold battery. It's not really cold. We don't have the snowflake on the battery or anything, but we do have some dotted lines. That means that the battery is cold, so the regeneration of the braking is going to be limited. And it's going to improve as you drive over time. But how do we warm up the battery first? As you probably know, the Model S and the Model X both actually have reactive heaters uh, inside the battery, but the Model 3 doesn't have that. The Model 3 heats its batteries differently. But what I'm going to do is take a piece of tape. I'm going to put it on the display here. And I'm going to mark where those dots are. So there are the dots. I'm going to move in here a little bit so we can see. I'm going to put a dot. This is hard to do. A little bit, so I'm going to put a dot right about there. That's where the heat of the battery currently is. Then I'm going to get out of the car. I'm going to put it in park here. Oh, and before I do, I'm going to show you a couple things here. I'm just going to go to the uh, charge. Oops charge window. And then I'm going to go to the odometer because a lot of people have said the only way to get the battery heated is to one, drive the car or two, charge the battery. Those are ways to charge the battery or to warm up the battery, but there is a simpler way to heat the battery. And I'm just going to go down here to the odometer. I'm not actually going to drive anywhere. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to look. I'm at 9,956 miles. And then I'll Actually, I'll just leave that up so that when I get back in, we'll be able to see that. And then I'm going to put the cat back on my pen. I'm going to get out of the car because now I don't need to be going anywhere. I'm going to set the car up as if I have just gotten home. I'm going to plug in the cable. The reason I don't call it the charger is because the charger is actually on the inside of the car. You may or may not have known that. But then before I shut the garage door, I'm going to come to this camera with a nice microphone on it. I'm going to start recording. Then I'm going to leave my garage. And when I do, the car is pretty much set up now uh, to where it's uh, it's just sitting. It's not charging or anything. It's, uh, it's not ready to be drivable. It's just sitting there. We're going to give it about five minutes. All right, it's been about five minutes. You'll notice that uh, the car is scheduled to start charging at 1600. Right now it's uh, it's 1409. So we're not charging the car right now. It doesn't need to be charged. Uh, and in, in fact, it won't charge. Uh, and uh, you'll notice a couple of other things. The interior is 46 degrees Fahrenheit and the charging may be limited due to cold temperatures. So essentially the way this car is sitting right now is that uh, it's waiting to charge and it's as if it's just been sitting there uh, for a long time. Uh, so let's pretend that I'm about to get up and go and meet a client. The first thing I'd want to do, especially when the temperatures are cold, is to turn on the HVAC. Come on, baby. Load up there. There we go. 
And that is all you have to do to start warming up your Tesla Model 3 battery, is turn on the HVAC. I'm going to prove that by using the camera in the garage, and you'll also notice that the uh, charging has stopped, so I'm not charging the battery. All I've done is turn on the HVAC, and we're going to wait about 30 minutes. Okay, it's been about 25, maybe 27 minutes, and in that time it started to snow again, of course. But let's take a look at where the car is. And you'll see that it charged a little bit. It charged to 247 miles. I think it was at 245. But more importantly, uh, you'll notice that uh, it, well, it says the charging has stopped. HVAC is still on. So let's open the garage and see what has happened. And well, I can hear some sounds. Definitely sounds different than when we left it. Let's get rid of the phone here. I'm going to have to disconnect the power connector again. Jump back in the car. And get my phone ready to record video and let's see what's happened so we get back in the car and get ready to drive or pretend like we're going to drive you can see that i didn't drive anywhere we still have the same odometer reading 95 there's my finger there it is 99 56 miles and Let's go ahead and get ready to drive and see where our regenerative braking is. Well, look at that. Now, here's where it was. As you'll remember, we made that little hash mark right there. But now the dots are all the way down here. Why? Well, the reason why is because when you turn on the HVAC from your phone, it turns on the battery warmers. And I've heard that it sends coolant through the motors via the inverter. I, I don't really know how. But the important thing is that if you want to warm up your battery prior to leaving for the day or on a trip, it doesn't really matter if the car is plugged into the charger or into the wall or not, because uh, it, it will, if you plug it into the wall outlet, then you won't be decreasing your range. But if you warm up the car ahead of time when you're on your battery pack, then it's going to deplete the battery a little bit uh, because of that. Uh, the degree to which is going to depend on the ambient temperature outside and how long you leave it on and so forth. But with just those five little hash marks left on the display, you know, that is plenty for me to go out and start driving because I know that that's going to go away uh, very soon after I start driving. So that is how to properly warm up your Tesla Model 3 battery pack.